Welcome to Atacado, the platform that makes Dynamic Creative easy. In the next five minutes, we'll learn how to use Atacado to build a Dynamic Creative ad campaign from scratch. Maybe you've been in the ad game for years and are looking to save time and cut costs. Or maybe you're new to Dynamic Creative and aren't really sure what it's all about. Either way, Atacado makes it easy. So with that in mind, let's dive in. Start by signing up at go.atacado.com. When you do, you'll get an email with a link to log in, as well as a link to a demo video. This one. Click the link to the platform and fill out your contact info. Nice. Setup is done. Let's start building. First, set up an advertiser. This is the company or brand name of the products you'll be advertising. Create as many advertisers as you'd like. Each one can have their own unique campaigns and products. Now we get to build our campaign. Name it, then select your campaign objective. This decides which products will be displayed to which viewer online, so it's an important step. This is a retargeting campaign, so I'm going to choose Last Viewed, so my ads will display the products the viewer has most recently viewed on my website. Scroll up, save, and continue. Now here's where the magic happens. Let's create products for this campaign only. I could also upload products to the advertiser level so that all my campaigns would pull from the same list of products. But I'm only running one campaign, so we'll keep it at the campaign level. I've got a handy little CSV file in Google Sheets with permissions set to anyone with the link can view, so I'll use that as my data or product feed. Check out the support section on atacado.com for the format of this file. It's a CSV, so I'll select comma separated. Would you look at that? It's already mapped the correct fields. If it doesn't pick up on your fields, just drag and drop to your heart's content. Let's update the file every day at 345. Scroll up, save and continue. Now for the fun part. This is the theme library. These are the designs or themes that will display the products we just uploaded. In Dynamic Creative, the products are the dynamic and the themes are the creative. Browse through, get the specs of each theme and pick a winner. The system is now creating your ad preview based on the products you uploaded and the theme you chose. I want my logo in there, so let's click Image Assets and Company Logo. Maybe I want to test how well this theme performs compared to another theme, so I could schedule this one for a week and another theme right after it. My friend who works in marketing says buy now is a strong call to action, so I'll click text assets and update the CTA button. Nice. As always, scroll up, save, and continue. Now things start to get a little technical here, but don't worry, we're almost done. This is the pixel. This is the code that tracks which users are looking at which products on my website. I'll send it off to the team that manages my website and ask that they place it before the closing body tag on each of my product pages. The pixel is also what would load in my product info if I wasn't using a data feed. Again, more info on this in our support docs. The ad tag is the code that tells the publisher what to display when an ad is served. I'll download the zipped file of the ad tag and send it to my media buyer. The preview link is where it all comes together. Any changes or updates I make to my campaign will be reflected immediately in the preview link. Quick side note, this link only works once you've entered your credit card info. You won't be charged, it just needs to be in there. And there it is. Thanks for sticking around. As promised, we've built our campaign in under five minutes. Of course, there's plenty of other features we could talk about in Atacado, but we'll leave those for another day. For now, give it a try. Sign up, build a campaign, and see how easy Dynamic Creative can be. Atacado, out.